could hide neath the wing of the bluebird as she sang the six o'clock alarm would never If I don't help you pack, Dawson, uh, you're gonna end up in L.A. with just those clothes on your back, and chances are that after a while, they're gonna start to smell a little, and that's no way to make a good first impression. My hygiene thanks you for your concern. Sure. So where are you headed off to? The Potter B&B. &B. What was your excuse gonna be? I was gonna work the whole I haven't said goodbye to Bess your Bodie yet angle. Ah, not bad. <laughs> Caught that. Sue me. So my favorite movie. This one, the Oscar, right? <laughs> God, how many times do I have to tell you it was Gandhi? Right. Yeah. Right. I need your help here. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You're worse than a girl, Dawson Leary. That's good. Emasculate me. It's only the last time you're ever going to see me. Well, for Christmas, I suppose. Which is six months away. A whole lifetime. You know, by then, you'll be married to the first bimbo who slips you a red shot. And you'll be shacked up with the first guy who offers you a hit off his beer bong. <laughs> right. You wish we could just fast forward four years and see how it all ends up? I don't have to, really. I mean... Four years at Worthington, you'll be a pedigree professional. And you? I'll be working the graveyard shift over at Kinko's. Stop by and say hi. Mm-hmm. Dawson. Yeah? I know we always joke about this, but... I feel like I'm never gonna see you again. That's crazy talk, Joe. I know. I... I know I'll see you again. It probably won't be too long from now, you know, holidays most likely, but you'll be different. I will? Well, you'll have a tan. And you'll have a girlfriend. I will. She'll be incredibly pretty. Really? You'll show me a picture, I'll immediately hate her. And the worst part is, deep down, I'll know she's as great as you say she is because you like her. You sound pretty sure about all this. You can't keep it a secret forever, Dawson. What's that? How incredible you are. Okay, film student. All-time favorite movie. You wanna play that game? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Jaws. You, all-time favorite song. Daydream Believer, most embarrassing moment. Uh, that would have to be when the whole school watched me make out with Eve. What are you talking about? That did wonders for your street cred. <laughs> okay. You, same question. Hmm. Well, that's easy. Right here in this room when I offered to have sex with you and you turned me down cold. Uh, yeah. Hey, can we introduce the hugest all-time regret category? Because that would pretty much be mine. Mine would be... lying to you about sleeping with Pacey. so funny. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm the only one who has not had sex. I, I didn't plan on graduating a virgin. What, what happened? Best laid plans. This mythical college girlfriend of mine, will she have sex with me? Mm, no. Sorry, she's a prude. <laughs> Damn, I had such high hopes the last American Virgin would fare better as an undergrad. <laughs> All-time most life-altering moment. Ever? Ever. Well... There are a lot of winners there.
You know what, there's this one moment. Um, a couple years ago, in this room, I was standing over there by the window, and, uh, and you kissed me. Changed everything. It's a pretty powerful thing when you get your biggest wish in one moment. Ah, I don't know, forget that one. She almost forgot. Dawson. I want you to stay. Excuse me? I said I want you to stay, and there I said it. You don't think you could have maybe said something before I packed? No, I said it, and now I want you to forget it. Forget it? Jura, how do I forget that? Well, it's just something that I've been thinking about, and I wanted you to know that I was thinking about it. You know, I was just gonna keep my mouth shut and let you go, but... It's not me, that's some Merchant Ivory movie, you know, where people suffer in silence and you're supposed to be so impressed by their restraint. Well, you know, sorry, but screw that. My best friend in the whole world is leaving tomorrow. A big part of me wants him to stay. So I, I hope you don't hate me. Never hate you, Joey. And not for lack of trying either. These past couple of years, it's been one big soap opera. I wouldn't take it back. I wouldn't take any of it back, but I'm glad that it's over. Because I like the way things are now. My life being the cruel joke that it is, now that things are so nice, you're leaving. Joe. If I thought for one second it was the right thing to do, I would stay. But it's time to go. It's time for me to get out of this room. It's time for you to discover who you are without us. This chapter's over, Joe. I can feel it. Do you believe in magic? I never used to. I mean, how could I? Thirteen, your mom dies. You hope against hope for, for magic, something to make it all better. It never comes, and you know you look to your father, who's unable to overcome all of his tragic flaws. Well, no abracadabra there. And then there's Pacey. Well, any magic that was there that ran out, didn't it? you. There's proof that someone out there is thinking of me. My friend who is with me always. It's pure magic. I guess this is pretty much just a long-winded way of saying that to him. I miss you, Dawson. I'm going to miss you too, Joey. <laughs> well, I guess it's getting late and you need to rest, so. Kind of makes me wish that the ladder was still out there. Make a classy exit, you know? Spear out the window. The night. Yeah. 
far more cinematic. Wow, I guess this is, uh, this is really it, huh? See you, Dawson. I'll see you, Joey. So what was yours, by the way? What about what? all-time most life-altering moment. Well, I know it could be this one right now. Saying goodbye to you. Cheer up, sleep.